This is Let's Talk with Liz, and I'm Liz. Hi, my YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. This is Let's Talk with Liz, and of course, I'm Liz. Now, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Today, we will be talking about something very serious to me. Um, it happened to me as a child, and we're going to talk about... Um, how I was molested as a child and what we could do as parents to protect our children. Um, I know this could be a very, very um, touchy subject uh, for a lot of people. I do realize that, you know, there's a lot of people that go through this and I am a person who have went through it. So let me begin by saying um, anyone who knows me, I'm not trying to offend anybody. Uh, I will try to be as discreet as possible. Um, but um, when I was about maybe seven or eight years old, could have been uh, seven or nine years old, I'm not sure. Um, but I was molested by a relative. Uh, he tried to penetrate me. Um, he also... Uh, stuck his fingers up in me as a child. So those were some things that I actually went through. And for some reason, I was totally afraid to tell my mother. Um, my parents were very strict. And uh, I just was afraid to tell my parents. You know, my parents were very old-fashioned. And I just felt, you know, that it, you know, they would have thought that it was my fault. Um, but knowing that what I know now, uh, I would say that my mom probably would have beat the living crap out of him. <laughs> so, um, you know, I did tell uh, another relative and uh, from that happening, you know, I don't believe it stopped the abuse because uh, he actually wound up uh, molesting my siblings as well. So, um, yeah, that happened. So it made me very, very um, overprotective of my girls. Um, my girls practically could not leave my side. I just did not trust any man. Uh, let alone talk about a female, but I didn't trust men, period, with my children, not only, not, not even their own fathers, uh, not even their own uncles. Yeah, I just didn't trust men, period. So uh, my girls were not allowed to sit on men's laps. Um, and I do realize that, you know, a lot of times, you know, kids are made to feel if they tell the adult uh, what's going on, that they're going to be the ones to get in trouble, not the abuser. And um, I, that's how I was made to feel. Like, I would be the person to get in trouble and not the abuser. Um, my daughters actually paid, I think, the price for me being molested because, as I said, I was very strict and um, tried to shelter them. Uh, as much as I could, they were not allowed to go to other people's homes. Um, you know, they wanted to go with their friends into their friends' houses. And I was like, I don't know your friend. I don't know your friend mama, her boyfriend, husband. I don't know if they got brothers. I just didn't trust men folk at all at, at that point. Um, so it was it was a pretty good while, you know, before my girls... Uh, could spend the night to anyone's house and and go to anyone's house. And um, <laughs> I had to realize that at some point I had to allow my daughters to go places, you know, mingle with other people and not uh, keep them so cluttered in. And I'm sure they probably snuck out the house a time or two um <laughs> uh, that I probably didn't know about. Um so, you know, my thing is what could you do to protect your children? One thing that I did with my daughters 
I taught my daughters the correct body parts. I didn't say that their vajayjay was a pocketbook. Because a pocketbook to me is something that you put your your purse, you know, your money, your change purse and your, you know, all your papers or whatever, your picture ID and all that in. That is not, that's what a purse is to me, a pocketbook. That's what my mom and them used to call it. My grandmother called it a quali fox. So, but I taught my girls the correct, um, by, uh, by, what is it? biology term of their body parts so the vagina the gluteus maximus the breasts i taught them that because god forbid if someone did touch them i wanted them to you know let me know what exactly happened and i always told my girls i don't care if they say they're gonna kill me and kill the whole family still tell me you know what i'm saying so uh, they would knew they knew that they could come to me and say, "Hey, you know, so and so tried me up, you know." And um, so uh, those those were some of the things that I did. And as my as my daughters matured, I began to teach them a little bit more, you know, uh, about the the body. And people, you know, I begin to warn them about people because, you know, they have so many tricks these days and times, um, how they get kids and believe it or not, you know, some people will say these shows, these, these are just television shows, but, uh, television shows that I watch that are like, um, criminal minds and, and, um, uh, you know, CSI and different things. Uh, some of those things you need to pay attention to because people do do those types of things to get children's attention, to get them to their to their vehicles, to get them to go with them. Um, before, back in the past, they used to, you know, get the kids by giving them a piece of candy, you know, and uh, then they started using, you know, I, oh, could you help me find my little doggy? And then, uh, you know, in some instances, people just grabbed up your kids from, from in front of your door. You know, that's how bold some pe criminals are. Um, so you really have to protect your children um, from these pedophiles. Uh, and a lot of times the pedophiles is right in your own family. Believe it or not, it's not a stranger danger. And that's the sad part about it. And it's been going on for years and years, you know. Um, if you ask your parents, maybe your mother may tell you, oh, it happened to me and my family. But, you know, nothing was done about it. It was like a brush under the rug type of situation. And we have to let kids know whether it's a boy or a girl, because it happens to boys as well, that it is not okay for someone to violate your body, your space. And you have to teach your kids the correct words of their body parts. And you have to reassure them, no matter what the uh, predator says, whether they are a family member or not, whether they say that they're going to kill you or not, that you, you know, they, they can come to you and and tell you no matter what they say. Because um, me personally, you know, I could think of some people I probably want to, you know, do some things to. But that is neither here nor there. You know, sometimes people try your kids up when they get older. That happened to one of my children. And, uh, of course, she knew how to handle herself. But I tell you one thing, I want to to do something myself, but thank God for Jesus. That's all I can say. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, but yes, we need to, you know, help our children. You know, there's a lot of sex trafficking going on. And if there's anyone out there that has some information that they could give right in the comment section, where children could, a number they could call or turn to, uh, 
you know, please feel free to put that in the comment section. Um, I, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it because sometimes, you know, kids go to their mothers and the mothers don't believe them, you know, or some other relative don't believe them because they are so close to, you know, the man, you know, they, they take, believe what the man say over what their, what their child say. If you know your children and you know, you, you raise them to be honest and you know that they don't play about something like that, you know, I, I would, I would do something about it. Point blank period. And he would have to take a lie detector test or something. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, but there are a lot of kids that cannot go to them, talk to their mother or a family member. So if you could put, you know, if you know of any, um, outlet for them, please feel free to put that in the comment section. Um, like I said, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And, um, I know my listeners would greatly appreciate it. So, uh, this is something that I really want to share with a lot of you. I just want to thank you so much for joining me today. And don't forget to comment and remember to love yourself.